A solar-powered, unpiloted aircraft is being developed in Christchurch in the hopes it will be a game-changer for the aerial imaging industry. The Kia Atmos will fly 20 times closer to the Earth than satellites, making images clearer and cheaper to produce. Our reporter Sally Murphy and camera operator Nate McKinnon filed this report. Soaring through the stratosphere for months at a time. That's what Kia Aerospace hope their aircraft will be able to do. With a wingspan of 32 metres and covered in solar panels to power the three electric motors, it'll weigh just 90 kilograms. Company Chief Executive Mark Rocket says the Kia Atmos will fly 20 times closer to the Earth than satellites, making images more affordable. There's a massive data gap at the moment where we're not actually getting the full data picture of aerial imagery, uh, so there are many solutions that, that need to be solved to uh, better protect our environment and have a better understanding uh, around precision agriculture, disaster management, uh, smart cities. So, yeah, this stratospheric aircraft is a really great technology to solve many of those problems. Mr Rocket is initially funding the project and says there's a lot of interest from investors. Well, ultimately, we'd like to have our mission control here in Canterbury and have a whole fleet of these aircraft flying around the world uh, constantly. So yeah, we think we think there's uh, so many applications for this type of vehicle. Uh, our first main application will be around aerial imagery, but there's also applications around payload testing or communications. Kia Aerospace is the second company to take part in the government's airspace integration trials programme. The first was Whisk, a company testing a self-flying air taxi in New Zealand. Minister of Research, Science and Innovation Megan Wood says its great advanced aviation is growing in New Zealand as it brings in high-paid jobs. There are huge opportunities for New Zealand in this wider area of space. Um, I think it's one we've seen um, the success of Rocket Lab and I think we all feel pride in what Rocket Lab has achieved and rightly so. But uh, look, there are more opportunities for us there as a country and it's why um, the, our innovative partnerships team at MB um, are really um, pushing into this area. Kia Aerospace is working on prototypes at the moment with the first full-scale Kia Atmos expected to be built in 2022. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Sally Murphy.